Hello everyone, I'm Simisha and I'm application engineer in Typhoon Hill. Today I am going to show you our new diesel genset generic component. First, let me open the schematic editor. Okay. Diesel genset generic example model you can find in our example folder. To find example folder you can go to file, open example model, microgrid, diesel genset, diesel genset generic and diesel genset gen. The main motivation for this new diesel genset component is that compared to our legacy component, it provides easier and more practical parameterization for system integration point of view. Also, it includes, it includes new functionalities expected to be found in real-life applications. These functionalities are overcurrent protection, grid voltage out of range protection, rotor unstable protection, uh, sync timeout protection and frequency drift. Finally, it does not utilize machine solver in Hill hardware resources. This can help you to create bigger models containing larger number of generators. Ok, now we are in schematic editor. To find a diesel genset component you can go to microgrid, distributed energy resources, diesel genset and diesel genset generic. Diesel genset generic system has two parts. One is diesel genset UI which is used for interface between diesel genset and inputs and outputs. Also, as you can see here inside, the main motivation for UI component is that uh, in this way it is easy to implement a remote terminal unit with any of our supported protocols. All our su uh, supported protocols you can find in our communication library. The second part of this model is a diesel genset component. This part is implemented using signal processing and signal controlled water sources. Mathematical models implement using signal processing. There is possibility to change some basic parameters. Uh, if you can see here, uh, in general tab we can uh, change some nominal parameters. Also in DG we can change uh, nominal machine speed and also there is some extra parameters. Ok, now let's compile this model. For diesel genset generic example has, it has its own SCADA panel. In this SCADA panel we can see that we have grid interface group where we can find some basic measurements such as grid voltage and grid frequency measurements and also grid uh, active and grid reactive power measurements. Also there is possibility to change grid connect and also to change uh, grid voltage and grid frequency. Uh, by that we have a diesel genset interface. In sub panel diesel genset interface we can see that we have one group diesel uh, genset control and status where you can see some basic control parameters. To start diesel genset uh, you have to check enable checkbox. First, let's start simulation. If we uh, go to enable checkbox, the diesel genset will start to operate in uh, operation mode. In this case, it is grid following. Also, it is uh, important to mention that we have four indicators uh, such as disable state, syncing up state, running state and error state. So also there is one uh, integrate, uh, indicator for main circuit breaker status. So let's check this checkbox. There is also possibility to handle error situation in diesel genset. In this way you can see alarm message and re, uh, reset alarms. Now, as you can see, the diesel genset is enabled.
It is important to mention that we have three operating uh, modes. Grid following mode, droop mode and, as, and isochronous mode. Now we are in grid following mode. Uh, there is possibility to change active and reactive uh, reference in per unit. So let's try to change that, these uh, values. As the center uh, point of uh, this sub panel, we can see ba uh, basic measurements such as grid line voltage, frequency generator speed, and also active reactive power and frequency. In this case, we can see how active pow uh, power is changed. Let's increase active power. Also, when we increase uh, active power, we can see some changes in uh, frequency. Now let's change uh, operation point from grid following to droop. In droop operating point, uh, we can change a frequency droop offset, frequency droop coefficient, and uh, voltage droop coefficient. More information about frequency droop offset, frequency droop coefficient, uh, and other parameters you can find in our help. Now let's get back to grid following and let's disable the grid. In this case, uh, we will have an uh, error message. As you can see, as error message, we have frequency drift. Now let's change uh, operating point to isochronous and let's reset alarm. As you can see, now we are in running state. Now uh, we can change uh, voltage reference and frequency reference. To summarize, in this video I presented you new microgrid generic component. Also I showed you how to use it and where to find uh, example model for it. In this video, you saw how to use SCADA sub panel for this component and how to control it. Thank you for watching. Bye!